doing? Good evening. Good evening. All right, so you guys have made it through this week. Okay, so like Mrs. Burnett has said, my name is Dr. Chalice Jenkins, and I bring you greetings from the Drexel University College of Nursing and Health Professions, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Board. Our board holds that diversity is, a fu is fundamental to all of our endeavors and it enriches the educational and human experience. We dedicate ourselves to creating a cultural climate in which all members of the community feel valued, respected, welcomed, and included as participants. So with that being said, tonight I am here to celebrate you. I am here to celebrate you. I'm here to celebrate your drive. I'm here to celebrate your motivation. I'm here to celebrate your ambition and your resilience. All of these characteristics have allowed you to journey through a dynamic experience this week through Drexel's College Access Academy. This week, you were offered the opportunity to determine the right college, to choose a major, to craft a resume, to prepare to write your college essay, to complete a college application, to practice with the SAT. I'm looking for reactions. Oh, I heard the, oh, the SAT, right? I feel you, I understand, I feel the same way, right? You also were able to focus on your mindset, determine what's next once you've been admitted, and last, you learn what to expect your first year of college. So I applaud you. I applaud your support system, including those who have made it possible for you to attend this week's academy. I applaud the Drexel family, Mrs. Melande and her team, for bringing this programming to you. So I'm gonna say it one more time. I applaud you. Yes, you. Give yourself a hand. Give yourself a standing ovation. Yes, I'm so glad that you just stood to your feet and you applauded yourself. I want you guys to practice this. I'm glad you guys just practiced this. And do you guys know why this is important? Do you guys know why I just had you all give yourself a standing ovation and applaud yourself? This practice is important because this is a skill that you must fully embrace. You must know how to encourage yourself. And applauding yourself is one way to do this. This week, Drexel's very first College Access Academy has equipped you to soar. Now, isn't it ironic that you all are participants in Drexel's very first College Access Academy? Many of you all are first-generation students. Many of you will be the first in your family to embark on this college university journey. Raise your hand if that's you. Wow, look how many people. So while many of you may feel excited, some of you may also be experiencing some fear too, right? Some of you may be worried about a number of things. Among your area of concerns might be how you might fit in with the other students. You may be scared that you won't reach out for help, that you might give up, or maybe you won't ask for help when it is needed. You may be afraid of student loan debt. Raise your hand if that's you. Or maybe you might be afraid of failing out of college because you are first generation and you don't want to disappoint your family. You may be afraid that you won't be able to balance college and university studies with having a fun life. You may be worried that you won't be able to handle all of the independence and responsibility that comes with attending a college or university. And most of all, some of you may be afraid that you will disappoint others who are counting on you to succeed. 
Raise your hand if I just mentioned one or more of your current fears. Okay, so that's basically everyone in the room. So I understand because I have sat where you all have sat and I too have experienced those same fears. Like me, some of you may have even encountered a high school guidance counselor who may have discouraged you from shooting for the stars. Raise your hand if you experience this. Okay, I'm so happy not to see so many hands on this because so many people from my generation that I talk to have experienced guidance counselors who have kind of limited their opportunities and where they wanted to go. They didn't encourage them to shoot for the stars. So I'm glad to only see a couple hands that have went up. So my story is that my last three years of high school, I achieved the AB honor roll, but I didn't score highly on the SAT. Okay, does anybody else share that experience with me? I know you guys practiced the SAT this week. Some of you guys may have received your scores and you were kind of disappointed, like, oh, I wanted to score higher, but I didn't score so well. So maybe you have to take it again. And they say the more you take it, the higher your score is. And that is true, because the more I took it, the better I scored. I also wasn't great at math. Anybody in here share that? Oh, yes. Oh my God, so many of you. So my high school guidance counselor suggested that I apply to a junior college because I would never get into a college or university. My high school guidance counselor was completely wrong. From the outside, she couldn't see my internal ability to encourage myself. So when others doubt what's inside of you, it is imperative and essential that you encourage yourself. Now let me tell you, all of your worries and fears, this is a normal part of the journey. But with all of your fear and anxiety, the best advice I can give you is to do it afraid. Yes, you heard me correctly. Do it afraid, ladies and gentlemen. I stand before you tonight as a prime example of a first generation student who has walked in your shoes. I have all the same fears that you currently have. I remember being invited to participate in a program such as this at Rowan University in Glassboro, New Jersey. It was called the Pre-College Summer Institute. I was invited to join the Minority Achievement Program. So the summer before embarking on earning my Bachelor's of Arts in Psychology, and ironically in the month of July of 1994, I participated in a program similar to this one. So I've walked in your shoes, friends. I am you. I am you. I did it afraid. It wasn't always easy and I had mountains to climb, but I did it afraid. Along this journey, I have earned my Bachelor's of Arts in Psychology from Rowan University, my Master's of Arts in Clinical Psychology from Argosy University, my Doctor of Philosophy degree in Human Services with a specialization in Counseling Studies from Capella University. And earning that PhD allows me to stand before you all tonight as Dr. Chalice Jenkins. I also earn my license as a professional counselor and I specialize in working with children and families. I stand before you as an assistant clinical professor in Drexel University's College of Nursing and Health Professions, Counseling and Family Therapy Department. I was also recently appointed the interim program director for our Bachelor of Science in Behavioral Health Counseling Program. By any chance, is anyone planning on going into the behavioral health field? Any, does anybody in here think they may want to be a counselor or a psychologist or talk to people and help people? Oh, oh, wow, okay, we have four hands. Who knows, you guys may see me in a couple years in the classroom. So these are some of my accomplishments thus far. All because I encouraged myself and I did it afraid. I'm a lifelong learner and my journey continues. I am currently studying to pass a national exam that will allow me to become a licensed psychologist. So I continue to do it afraid, friends. 
Now, I would be remiss if I did not mention that I had a healthy support system who stood behind me. My mom was there for me every step of the way to pray for me. She was a shoulder to cry on, to provide financial resources for me to accomplish my goals, and to also encourage me. Many of you can name at least one person in your life who may be a support to you, just like my mom was a support to me. So raise your hand if you have at least one person in your life who you think is a great, healthy support to you. Raise your hand. You have at least one person, okay? So that's all of you, and that's good to see. Now raise your hand if by any chance you happen to call that person mom. So as I close tonight, I want to encourage you to do it afraid. Encourage yourself along the way and see how far this will take you. The sky is the limit for all of you. Tonight, I celebrate you. We all celebrate you. We celebrate your drive, your motivation, your ambition, and your resilience. Now forge ahead, make yourself and your loved ones proud, and do the darn thing. Be blessed.